Press the button. Alright, that's good. What's going on my YouTube family? This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Welcome to another video. I'm gonna keep dropping all the gems for you guys. I really appreciate all of the love and the support in helping me build this channel. As you guys continue to engage and continue to share, um, the algorithm will push this channel to the next level. Thank you guys so much. So I'm pretty much, as you guys can see, picking our Audis apart bit by bit piece by piece on what each item can do. So when it's time for you to go to the next level, tune your vehicle, maintenance your vehicle, you know what to do. So as you can see from the title, this is gonna be about a throttle body spacers. So in case you guys didn't know what a throttle body spacer is, this is a throttle body spacer right here. So the whole purpose of a throttle body spacer, especially the ones with the waves on it, is to enable your airflow to be more impactful and ultimately get more air to your engine with that added amount of space. So that's the whole goal and ideal of a throttle body spacer. It's supposed to get the force of that air kind of torquey per se um, into your intake manifold, which will ultimately get you more power. Well, at least that's what they say. So in my personal opinion, um, with a throttle body spacer, uh, when I put it on my vehicle, I would kind of classify a throttle body spacer the same as I would for a turbo muffler delete. They don't give you a real big noticeable difference in horsepower if, if you put one on your vehicle, don't expect to feel a difference is what I'm saying. You're still gonna get the same drive. I did notice, however, that on my throttle response, it felt a little, little bit quicker, but it's nothing that you would notice. It's something that you really, really gotta pay attention to. And what I mean by that is uh, in my vehicle, I'm able to set up OBD-11 and I was able to look at my um, throttle position. And I noticed with my throttle position, with my car on, it was a little bit quicker on computer. So it did give me an improvement. However, it's not an improvement that I can personally feel. So if you wanna feel it, it's kinda like going to stage, um, stage two from one, there's gonna be if there's gonna be um, an improvement, but something that you won't really notice as much, even though stage one and two is probably a little too far-fetched for this one, because you, you do feel a little bit in that. So I would say the benefits and the perks in having a throttle body spacer, as you can see in this video, you're able to you know, run, run water, methanol to your system if you're trying to improve your system. You're able to do an injection point um, to your vehicle and for aesthetic purposes, you know, if you're doing the engine build and you want your engine to look pretty and you know, you can get a red one, a blue one. It's just an extra aesthetic mod. Just like with my turbo muffler delete, all I got out of that was sound. I didn't see an improvement or feel an improvement in my vehicle when I put the turbo muffler delete, which is ultimately just muffles the sound. So. I would classify a throttle body spacer and a turbo muffler delete as the two mods that don't get you any power. It's just the overall mod to complete your build. You won't see any um, extra performance out of it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, you know, to let you guys know about, you know, the throttle body spacer if you're looking to get one. You know, if you have really, really big, you know, future goals of tuning and modding your vehicle, it won't hurt to put one on. And like I said, it does add um, an increase of uh, um, more airflow due to the turbulence from it, but it's not noticeable. So just know mentally you're getting it, but it's nothing noticeable that you will be able to physically feel. I've seen a couple of people who claim, you know, on YouTube and other videos that they felt something. I'm just giving my personal 
you know, experience on it and sharing it just like I always do. Uh, so if you guys are looking into getting a throttle body spacer, hey, it looks cool and you get an improvement, but you just can't feel it. How you hook it up. So the way that it works, it comes with extra long bolts from your traditional bolts. So your traditional bolt is a little bit shorter. And so what you do is you take this off, make sure you put the seal the right direction. You put the throttle body spacer here, then um, you put the throttle body spacer here, then you run this bolt through the traditional throttle body into through the throttle body spacer into your, into, into your intake manifold. Be very, very careful if you have this plastic intake manifold, you can strip it. So even if you're doing a regular throttle body job, you don't want to strip this intake manifold because it's made out of plastic. So don't go crazy with tightening it. Just take your time with it and you and you should be fine. So that's pretty much how you, you know, hook it up. You just unscrew, you just unscrew the intercooler pipe and tubing from here. Um, you, you got one bolt here, 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 here. You got one bolt here, 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 and at the back right there, it comes right off. Make sure you get a real tight seal because I've I've made a mistake before to where I didn't seal it properly getting a boost leak and I know a lot of other people as well. And so, yeah, that's going to be um, how you hook it up. So, you know, um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, share the video. Everyone stay blessed. Have a good day. Right now, um, as you can see, this is my snow performance injector and this is my throttle body space. I took off the throttle body and what happens is the water methanol sprays through here. I wanna show you, this is how it looks when the mist is actually spraying. Press the button. All right, that's good.